Hello there, so Fancy here and I have wonderful news for you today. Unreal Engine 4.25 was released. Yeah, yeah, I know I am late. Don't look at me like that, I was busy. You are probably asking why is it such a big deal? Well, to be honest, it's not actually such a big deal. There is nothing that we didn't see in some form before. But most things are now ready for production, so you can use it in actual games. But there is also a few things that are new. Let's get to it. So first thing is support for next gen consoles. They are not even on market and you can already make games for them. And that means PlayStation 5 and Xbox X Series X. I don't know how they name it actually. That is too many X for me to count. And now let's get to something that's much more boring but much more useful and that's Unreal Insight. So what it basically is, is completely new profiling tool. Okay, it's not completely new again, but it's very interesting and very useful profiling tool. It will simply help you take any frame of your game and figure out what will cost you more, most performance and what should be improved. Basically don't use 10 post process volumes on each other, not gonna work. Unreal Insight has one little surprise and that would be Animation Insight. And what it basically does is is it will help you record and playback any animation in uh, Unreal Engine and also it can help you mix and blend different animes. So right now it should be much easier to play with animations inside Unreal Engine and you don't need to export it and import it every single time like you did have to until now. You can animate your own rigged meshes in Unreal Engine, right in Unreal Engine. That basically means you can rig your character with Mixamo or if you are not that as lazy as I, you can rig it by yourself, put it in Unreal Engine and make all your animations inside Unreal Engine and put it right in the game. There is also a lot of performance updates with control rigs, so it should be also a little bit easier to see skeletal meshes animating on your scene. And with that, let's get to another news. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking about something else. Another news. You have probably already seen a lot of stuff around uh, Niagara, but if you didn't get out of the hot hall. Simply said it is completely new VFX system. It will let you do fluid and smoke simulation as well as any other particle simulation in real time. Some of the showcase looks actually really interesting. Just imagine that we will be able to make fluid simulations in real time. That's incredible. Another little sub news is that you can actually sync Niagara particles with audio right now. So you can make that dancing ball to the rhythm and you don't need to animate it by hand. Basically that's about it. I think it's called audio ascicle. Um, don't make me say it. And next thing we were all waiting for is chaos. And yeah, you still have to rebuild it all from source, which means that you cannot access it in normal Unreal Engine 4.25. But it's said that it should be ready in 4.26. If you don't know what it is, it's a basically new physics system that will let you destroy anything, like really anything. To explain it really briefly, you will basically create mesh collections or object collections, then choose some of the fractures uh, preset and let it all be destroyed in real time. That's the important part, real time. Cool thing is that you can also set up damage threshold or anchor points. And now something no one probably expect, modeling and sculpting. Yep, not only that you can animate your rigged characters in Unreal Engine, now you can even model and create your own objects in Unreal Engine. Especially sculpting feature looks extremely interesting in connection with Megascans. Just imagine that you will just apply some material from Megascans and then sculpt how you want it to look like. It should have all basic modeling operations like extrude, bevel, etc. What's most important, you can edit even UVs right in Unreal Engine. And if you are developing on mobiles, which you are kind of weird if you are doing it in Unreal Engine, but that's not the point. The thing is that you have now new mobile preview. So now you don't need to launch your game on your phone. You can preview it how it will look on the phone right in engine. And hopefully it won't need to compile all the shaders again and again and again and again. Another thing is highly improved hair rendering, which is something I would really appreciate. They have also completely worked saturation adaptation now, professionally called eye adaptation but it doesn't really work on mobiles unless you have enabled HDRI. And if you are a rich boy or girl, I'm pretty sure that you would love to hear that ray tracing support is now in main branch, which means that if you have GPU that supports ray tracing, you can now use it in 
game development. Another thing is LIDAR, which to be completely honest, I didn't know is a thing until now. What it basically is, is scanning a real world with a laser, as I understand it. They should just set a laser, scan everything, and you have real world location ready to be imported in Unreal Engine. Interestingly enough, it should be very performance light, which makes it good candidate for VR on mobile preview probably much more useful for architecture visualization than for game developers. Unless you wanna go for like a really weird art style. I should also mention completely reward sound system, even though I don't know anything about sound, so I'm just gonna trust them that it's better right now, I don't hear difference. Another thing is new shading model that now supports anisotropic materials. You can see examples of that right on the screen. You can see that a lot of features are aimed at visualization or stale frames rendering or movies, just whatever you want, just not the real time rendering, just a really fast rendering. And for that is our last bit of information and that's completely new reworked export of animation. You still need to use sequencer, but now you can stack it all and render the render frames as you need. That's of course not everything, there was a lot of bug fixing and a lot of features that I don't understand or don't know what to say about, so I didn't include them. Anyway, if you want to know more, there is release notes in description or a live stream by Epic. Okay, that's everything from me, let me know in comments what is feature you are most excited about and see you around.